Right, welcome to another episode of DTV. Today I catch up and play a game of pool with Jimmy Magna. Robbo. Jimmy, how are you mate? Good, yourself. Thanks for joining us on DTV mate. I've dragged you away from training, I know you're hard at work doing the right stuff, but that game on the weekend was your first, how was it mate? It must have been exciting. Yeah, oh, it was unbelievable. Um, I'd, know, I'd played at the G once before with Nathan Jones back in the tackle granny, but it was a different story on the weekend and yeah, no words could really explain it. Yeah, it was just unbelievable. What's that moment like? I mean, it talks about the emotions of running out the race and then you're seeing all those people there. It's what boys just want to do all their life, isn't it? It was everything I expected it to be sort of thing. So, yeah, you can hear the crowd rumbling outside and, uh, yeah, a few goosebumps and stuff like that. So, And that countdown they did was like, really good as well. Mm, mm. It counts down, the crowd's doing it, yeah, sending shivers at your spine. Yeah, hair's on the back of the neck stuff. Yeah. yeah, mate, you're a very talented footballer and I had you go to the pool. <laughs> Yeah, no good. No good. No. Alright, so the first one is very simple, just a bank shot, you know? Got to hit it off the cush and get it in over here, huh? Sound, All right. Sounds simple enough? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, pressure's on. Look at that, eh? Hey? <sighs> oh, oh, in and out. I can't, can't say I'm disappointed about that. <laughs> now, mate, second question for you. Um, 18, year old, 18 years of age, you've come out of the TAC Cup, I guess you want to get drafted at that age, but you're 24 now, isn't it? you're a mature age player yeah, now playing yeah. your first game. What was the road like, the journey to here? Obviously there's six years there where you've been in the wilderness playing, so probably not wilderness, but playing yeah. somewhere to get yourself drafted. Where have you been? Yeah, well I played at the TAC Cup and nothing happened and then uh, went down to Frankston, rough old spot in the VFL. Right. Yeah. So yeah, um, spent three years down there and I was coached by Brett Lovett, who coaches Casey now. Yep. Then I moved on to Sandringham and spent two years there and then lucky enough to come to Melbourne. Okay, so this one, this looks really difficult, but it, it's it does. supposed to be really kind of easy. I read it in the book. <laughs> so here we go, Let's see what happens. Oh. Yes. <laughs> All right, you can do that, can't you? I'll give it a go. <laughs> right. So now you just hit the 13. Right. Sounds easy. <laughs> just... All you basically got to do is hit that ball, and if you miss, you're a terrible player. <laughs> well, I am terrible. Right? <laughs> all right, we'll see. It's all dependent on this. All right. Yeah. Let's go. If you're a good football player, I'm not sure about the pool. No, <laughs> 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 I'm near. I've chosen the right game to take you away. <laughs> All you got to do, I'm not even going to do it because I'm ahead by so far, it's not funny. Uh, <laughs> just hit that ball in, can you do that? It might sound easy. <laughs> Execution might be a bit tough. The cameras are rolling, no pressure. The white ball's in a bit of an awkward spot, yeah. Uh, there's, yeah. There's, there's a roll on the table too, you've got to adjust for that. <laughs> All right. Hey, yes. got it. Got one. <laughs> Jimmy Magna. Thanks for joining us on the skill tester, mate. No worries. Good luck tomorrow. I, I'm sure you'll do well. I'm sure you'll back up from your good game on the weekend and hope you get the boys across the line. Yeah, I thought you'd be on your Gorn's got Lyndon Dunn in Gorn in 60 seconds. Back by Poplar, the man. We got Gorn in 60 seconds. This week we got Lyndon Dunn. Are you ready to take on the Gorn in 60 seconds? Ready as old as the mate. All right, here we go. Are you a little bit disappointed that Hayden Ballantyne is getting credit for something you've been doing for years? Uh, no, he's an A-grade pest and uh, he's certainly stolen the show, that's for sure, this week. What's bigger, Jake Spencer's appetite or Tom McDonald's ego? Uh, Tom McDonald's ego is bigger than a lot of things. What's more of a sure thing, black caviar or sand bleeds to spew up in pre-season training? Uh, bleasy, yeah, the old coffin, uh, coffee and muffin before training is not a good mix, so I'd say bleasy. You're getting, you're getting married soon. Is the moustache staying? Uh, mine is, yeah. Lee is going to grow one as well. Sometimes it takes up to two hours to get to training. Do you hope Melbourne take up home games in Tassie so it's less trouble? Uh, yes. My frequent fly points will also be going through the roof, which would be nice. For four games last year, you filled in as a part-time ruckman. Are you now aware why it's well known as the hardest position on the ground? Uh, yes, I can understand why you're always boasting around the club while you're always doing so well on the ruck. We're five points behind and the siren has sounded. Who would you rather have the chance to win the game for us, Jack Fitzpatrick or Julia Gillard? Um, I don't think we're going to win the game either way with those two. Thanks, Lyndon. That's gone in 60 seconds.
and I'll catch up with the big guy, David Schwartz, in this week's Remember When. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you too. Sorry to drag you away from your busy schedule, mate, but we've just been watching you do your stuff there. Yeah. 94 would just conjure up great images in your head, wouldn't it? It, it did, and it, it does. It's um, a little bit of a secret to that game. I nearly didn't get there because yeah. um, the police rocked up on my door that morning and I owed some money in speeding fines. <laughs> and um, they wanted to take me in and I had the right amount of check for $8,000. Why am I not surprised? So I wrote out the check and uh, I knew there was no money in the account so I, 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 I figured that I'm going to play a good game otherwise uh, I was going to be locked up. So at the end of the game I said to Danny Court and I said we need to get some money in that account otherwise they're going to they want me to the next week in the final against the Bulldogs. So we did that. And we got away with it. Jeez. But um, they didn't expect that we'd get that much information. <laughs> but your beauty, they were coming. Now, yeah. I know you played a lot of basketball as a kid. Yeah. That spin move, that was just so basketball. You see Scott Penelby run around today. He's got the, the basketball moves. You had it too, didn't you? Well, I, I think when you play basketball, you need to, Robert. You, you pick up a certain set, set of skills that you know you, you wouldn't normally have. So, you know, the agility, the peripheral vision, um, and also the leap. So, mm. yeah, it worked well that day. It was, um, it was a good day to be... It, Beating Carlton any time is great, yeah. but to beat them in a final when we finished, I think, oh. seventh and they finished second was even more more satisfying. I mean, it was a great game, but the first thing I noticed there is, was that is that the bowl haircut? Did you put the bowl on their head and they just buzz well, it all the way around? Well, I did have the long, I had the long locks. I, yeah. I, I, to be fair to say, I grew up in some so I was a little bit confused. So, it kind of, I had it long and then went the undercut and then I went the bowl. It was pretty uncool, wasn't it? <laughs> well, I thought, you know, you think it's cool at the time. Yeah, at the time. And then exactly you look back right. and go, what a wanker. And that's what Remember When is all about, my friend. <laughs> <thing. laughs> Just talk to me about some of the players you played with back then. It was a special time for the Melbourne Football Club. Gary Lyon, you're running around with him. Sean yeah. Charles was showing there at some point. Yeah. Just it, super it was, players. It was a handy forward line. Nietzsche couldn't fit in, which uh, I wasn't surprised about. Uh, Gary Lyon at full forward, myself at centre half forward, Sean Charles, Martin Pike, Andy Lovell. Oh. Uh, just to mention a couple, um, you know, it was, it was a pretty formidable forward line. It was, it was hard to stop it. Love was spending a bit of time up there. Um, it was a damn good side, yeah. you know, and uh, we played the Bulldogs a fine week and won that, and then we played against the West Coast in the prelim, and we got beaten there. But, you know, out of all the sides I played with, I thought that was our most our most complete side. Mm. Uh, we didn't we didn't get the ultimate success. Didn't even make a grand final, but mm. I thought we had a lot of depth that team, yeah. in that team. There was a lot of depth. Sure, it's been fantastic talking to you, mate, about that. Particular game, but we can keep going if you want. You'd love to talk about you for a little bit longer. You know, it's, it's talking about you good. and me, mate. Good. Good. I, that 94, I wasn't there, and then I burst onto the scene. 2000. 2000. Can we yeah. go back to that? One of the great footy trippers of all time, too, I might add. Might add. Great times. We won't talk about that. No. Oxy, thanks, Thank brother. Thank you. Good to see you. Cheers. So that's been DTV for another week. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned. Plenty more action coming your way. See you then.